अगर आपके पास देसी गाय नहीं है एंड इफ यू फील दैट आई हैव अ फॉरेन काउ कैन आई यूज इट यूज इट यूज द डंग यूज द यूरिन वी यूज द रेजर आफ्टर गोइंग टू कॉलेज नाउ दे यूज रेजर इंटेंस टैंक लॉट्स ऑफ हार्मोन्स आर बीइंग सर्कुलेटेड इनटू द फूड इंडस्ट्री जहां जामुन के पेड़ हैं उसके जो पत्ते नीचे गिर के गलते हैं और सड़ते हैं वहां पे माइक्रोबियल डेंसिटी एंड अर्थवम डेंसिटी इज मैक्सिमम प्लीज रिमेंबर नेचर टेक्स 250 टू 400 इयर्स टू डेवलप 1 इंच ऑफ टॉप सोइल इफ अ मॉम इज प्रेग्नेंट एंड यू वांट द बेबी टू ग्रो वेरी वेल वुड यू इंजेक्ट मेडिसिंस टू द बेबी और विल यू टेक केयर ऑफ द मॉम इफ एनीबॉडी इज सेलिंग यू अर्थवम्स एंड टेल्स बाय 500 मेल एंड 500 फीमेल ही इज चीटिंग यू दिस कलर इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ अ नास्टी केमिकल कॉल्ड एज नियोनिकोटिनॉइड्स बच्चे लिख लो यार It's a fifth-generation neurotoxic substance which is coated on the top. What I'm worried is about my farmers. Let us call it as permaculture. Let some of them call it as biodynamic. Let some call it as sustainable. Let some call it as natural. Let some call it as organic. Let us all unite to work towards non-chemical, non-poisonous farming. It's time that people like us are able to again bring back and revive the soils with its nutrient content. Namaskar I am a teacher and this is my 50th year of teaching November 1974 I started teaching this is my 50th year of teaching I started my research on soils in 1978 79 I am not going to teach anything new to you people I'm just going to share my experiences some of the things which you already know and some which may be new to you people call it as a world soil day on 5th December 2021 they called it as world soil day and look at the theme halt soil salinization boost soil productivity may and all all are just imaginations just have a look at these things and then they brought this sustainable development goals which every college every institution every government body is trying to concentrate on the united nations sustainable development goals sdg 17 sdgs isme se jo mujhe acha laga 2030 nutritious and sufficient food for all is it possible we have only 7 years left end all forms of malnutrition by 2030 double agricultural productivity i i don't know whether we'll be able to do it or not improve land and soil quality maintain genetic diversity of seeds biodiversity of soils everything of uh, cultivated plants farmed animals everything aur phir unhone kaha technology development and plant livestock gene banks jaisa ki bhai sahab ne bataya ki humne seed bank banayi hai everything appears to be good on print prevent trade restrictions and proper functioning of food commodity markets these are the highlights as far as agriculture is concerned as far as the sdgs are that theek hai ab ye are a question mark to me i have been working with people with farmers and luckily now i am also member of the planning commission for the government of tamil nadu so i was able to introduce some policies over there we are now 121st position in the world 121 ab isme se future of food ke bare mein uh, log bol rahe hain ke natural resources diminish hote ja rahe hain so how are we going to maintain it i am just raising this questions because i'm going to provide you with probable answers and also technologies so that you can go and practice them right individuals will be eating healthy highly cultured they want to eat insects they want us to eat insects they want to eat ask us to eat cultured cells which will be made as meat products global food tech market that's what is aiming this is going to grow to 342.52 billion and food demand is going to increase तो एक्चुअली इट्स ए बिजनेस सो एज भाई साहब जैसे बता रहे थे ना बीज हमारी थी लेकिन कोई और बेचेगा यानी मतलब रिच पीपल विल ईट इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स कार्पोटाइजेशन कंप्लीट कार्पोटाइजेशन बट दीज आर दॉब्लम टू फेस मीन टेम्परेचर इज चेंजिंग प्रेसिपिटेशन रेनफॉल इज चेंजिंग तो अगर ये होता रहेगा तो हमारा जो है खाने का जो तरीका है दट बेस्ड ऑन ट्रेडिशन रिलीजन फैमिली ऑल दो थिंग्स हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू गेट अफेक्टेड दिस वॉट इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ फूड कम्युनिकेशंस, फूड कम्युनिकेशन में अपेटाइट अपील जब हम लोग बच्चे थे यानी मतलब मेरे एज ग्रुप को बोल रहा हूँ बेकरी 
हम लोग बोलते थे कि भाई मुझे केक चाहिए एक ही केक था और उसमें भी अगर कुछ चाहिए तो फिर उसमें वॉलनट केक ऊपर दो वॉलनट लगाएगा था उसका नाम वॉलनट केक बन जाता आजकल के बच्चों को जब आप बेकरी ले जाते हैं तो बच्चा बोलता है कि मुझे ब्लू कलर केक चाहिए रेड कलर केक चाहिए येलो कलर केक चाहिए ही डजेंट नो द कंटेंट्स वली अपील वॉट कलर लुक्स लाइक द होल कॉन्सेप्ट इज चेंजिंग द सेकेंड वन रिकमेंडेशन वॉट यू सी एडवर्टाइजिंग राइट विजुअल स्टिमुलाइ कितना अच्छा लगता है and that is what many of us are doing today that the moment you go to a restaurant you order for a fancy meal the first thing you have to do is take a picture and post on instagram because it has a visual stimuli reputation and advocacy people to keep talking us restaurant mein bahut acha milta hai and that stimulates us and we start going health and wellness chal log dekhte rehte hain programs dekhte rehte hain jaisa ke mota dana jisne kaha inhone hum log minor millets kehte hain wahan pe sirudani hum kehte hain hum log tamil nadu mein और कल्चर दीज आर दिंग्स विच आर गोइंग टू इन्फ्लुएंस ये कारपोरेट का व्यू है अभी हिंदुस्तानी व्यू देखेंगे ये कल रात को मुझे आया था एक वीडियो मेरे दोस्त ने भेजे थे तो मैं अभी सुबह सुबह इसको इनकॉपरेट किया एक स्वामी जी अपने सर के ऊपर जो है धान उगाते हैं while sitting up he can sense when the rice is in need of water through the skin of his scalp when his scalp feels dry he waters his head leading to a bountiful growth of rice at harvest time he gathers the rice to make a delicious meal and then replants it continuing this cycle for decade theek hai na ye jo mera student bheja tha mujhe tab mai usko likha ke mere sar pe baal hi nahi ukte hain to kahan se dhan ho gayi ki <laughs> that's the reply i sent to my student right <laughs> well, one thing i remembered was especially for the benefit of students when i was in class 5 my teacher told me that i would not pass class 8 and he told me that there is chikni mitti in my head so remember if any teacher tells you that you are not able to understand and you have soil in your head be proud that you are going to produce something else because i became a soil biologist so please think different children please think different basic concepts thoda sa samajh lijiye aap energy flows nutrient cycle to is basis mein who will eat more elephant will eat more or a dog will eat more एलिफेंट ठीक है एलिफेंट डॉग डॉग एलिफेंट अगर इसको देखेंगे आप तो अगर मैं एलिफेंट का वेट उठा लू तो उसका वेट होता है फाइव थाउजेंड के जीस डॉग का वेट ट्वेंटी के जीस होता है एलिफेंट को अगर मैं चारा देना चाहता हूँ एक दिन का तो उसको पचास किलो घास दे सकता हूँ लेकिन कुत्ते को जो है मैक्सिम आई कैन गिव इट बी वन के जी ऑफ मीट फूड एंड मेडिसिन इज ऑलवेज रिकमेंडेड बेस्ड ऑन बॉडी वेट इसीलिए डॉक्टर पहले आपका वेट लेता है तो 5000 हजार के जी का हाथी अगर 50 के जी खाता है तो उसका एक के जी वजन कितना खाता है उसका एक के जी वजन 10 ग्राम खाता है लेकिन कुत्ता 50 ग्राम खाता है तो कुत्ता एलिफेंट से ज्यादा खाता है कुत्ता क्यों एलिफेंट से ज्यादा खाना है दीज आर द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इस बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट में आप देखेंगे क्योंकि एलिफेंट इट्स द ग्रास विच फिक्स द एनर्जी वेर एज डॉग इट्स द मीट ऑफ एन एनिमल विच इज इट एन द ग्रास विच फिक्स द एनर्जी सो वी इट मोर There's a reason why all Asian countries we are vegetarians. I would rather say predominantly vegetarians because you go to any restaurant and order for a non-vegetarian thali meal. What do you get? You get rice, which is plant-based. You get chapati or paratha, which is plant-based. You get all the gravies, which are plant-based. You get uh, uh, sweet plant-based, raita plant-based. Finally, in a small cup. they will give two pieces of chicken in it and call it as non vegetarian food so non vegetarian don't compare non vegetarian of the west with the asian non vegetarian right it's only either the vegetarian gets two pieces of paneer or the other guy gets two pieces of chicken is what makes the difference finally this is where biodiversity comes into existence the biodiversity ki baat aati hai bio ka matlab hua life diversity ka matlab hua variety ab is variety mein hamara desh biodiversity bahut acha hai we should be proud of it that is why we are missing we should be proud that we are very rich in biodiversity we are very rich in all the fauna we are very rich in all the flora bahut variety hai hamare paas aur ek ek variety mein kai variety hai bhindi le lenge to kai variety ki bhindi hai aap tomato le lenge kai variety ki tomato hai itna sare rehte sabhi ye sare cheez hamare desh ke hain aap pad le sakte hain ye sare cheez hamare desh ke hain itne hote hue bhi itne sare animals bhi hamare paas the अब इतने रहते हुए ये प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट हुआ है बॉस इंडिकेस हमारे देश की गाय है बॉस टॉरस बाहरी देश की गाय है टॉरस जो है आपका जो जोडियक साइन में आता है टॉरस द बुल तो बॉस टॉरस बॉस इज द जेनेरिक नेम टॉरस स्पीशीज बॉस इंडिकस 
इसका फर्क क्या होता है हमारे देशी गाय में हम्प होता है जो उसमें नहीं होता है और बैक पोर्शन हमारे देशी गाय का जो है कर्व होता है उसका जो है थोड़ा रेस होकर प्लैट हो जाता है यही होता है तो अगर एक देसी है तो दूसरी परदेसी है अब ये बात आती है बातचीत में अक्सर जो है जो लोग कहते हैं वन ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हु कीप सेइंग दैट ये बाहरी गाय जो है इट इज इक्वल टू ए पिग इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू ए पिग इट इज अ मैमल इट इज अ खाओ अगर आपके पास देसी गाय नहीं है और आप यहां आए हैं ताकि आप सीखेंगे एंड यू वुड लाइक टू गो एंड इंप्लीमेंट ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग और वॉट एवर फार्मिंग यू आर गोइंग टू डू नॉन केमिकल फार्मिंग एंड इफ यू फील दैट आई हैव अ फॉरिन काउ कैन आई यूज इट यूज इट यूज इट यूज द डंग use the urine because you know like uh, long back when this happened i, w- I was a uh, former head of the department of zoology and head of the department of biotechnology so when this problem started i had given a complete project for my students to analyze the dung and tell me what is the difference between them qualitatively there is no difference quantitatively there is difference because all the bullshit which people talk over here is based on foreign publications in foreign countries these cattle are stall fed यानी मतलब उनको चारा जो है मार्केट से लेते हैं जिसमें एंटीबायोटिक्स होते हैं जिसमें हार्मोन्स होते हैं यहाँ पे इवन इफ इट इज अ फॉरिन काउ उसके चारे में आपको यानी मतलब घास देते हैं हरियाली देते हैं कुछ वी कॉल इट तौड़ उम्मी वगैरह ये सारी चीजें एंड ऑल्सो भी अलाउ इट फॉर ग्रेजिंग सो ये काउ कैन शिट वन इट ईट्स इज अ क्लियर राइट सो इन केस यू हैव इन फ्यूचर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाई प्रोमोट अवर बायोडिवर्स बट इफ यू ऑलरेडी हैव and if you are afraid whether i can use it or not please forget it continue to use it ab new technology ja rahe hamare desh mein itna bolte hain ke gai ko protect karna hai hai ya nahi ab aisa ho gaya yahan pe hum log gender bias mein female protection in the human species bolte hain cattle mein male protection of the cattle species a new technology is being brought in called as belsville sperm sexing technology children please wrote it down aapke kitabon mein nahi aaya abhi it's called as the belsville sperm sexing technology in this belsville sperm sexing technology the sperm should be collected from the bull and then with a special type of centrifugation as you find over here because every male that is mammals including human beings males produce two type of sperms the x and the y the y produces a boy the x produces a girl whereas the woman always produces x she is very neutral right she doesn't decide the gender sex of the baby create this impression in the minds of your neighbors and other people to whom you talk to क्योंकि हर गांव में ऐसा करते हैं कि अगर लड़की पैदा हुई तो दे ब्लेम द मदर इट्स नॉट द मदर यू हैव टू ब्लेम द फादर राइट द सेम थिंग हैपेंस इन कैटल सो दिस सेंट्रिफिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी दे कलेक्ट द स्पर्म्स एंड दे डू इट थ्रू सेंट्रिफिकेशन दे सेपरेट द एक्स स्पर्म फ्रॉम द वाई स्पर्म द वाई स्पर्म्स आर डिस्ट्रॉयड द एक्स स्पर्म्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड इनटू स्ट्रॉस एंड दे आर यूज्ड फॉर आर्टिफिशियल फर्टिलाइजेशन हियर आफ्टरवर्ड्स हियर आफ्टरवर्ड्स ए काऊ कैन नॉट लव ए बुल ऑफ इट्स चॉइस टू हैव ए बेबी ऑफ इट्स ओन द गवर्नमेंट इज ब्रिंगिंग अ रेगुलेशन that bulls have become a burden so everyone should opt to take the cow to a veterinary hospital and have the straws so that they can produce only female cows they will have only stud bulls in the departments this project is already come in india and it is now with cows it can be extension to extended to any animal any animal any mammal poultry please understand the basic concepts before i go into the soil these were our chicken and we started calling them as uh, native chicken we started giving a name and we started respecting this as a real, as a real chicken this real chicken when i was young stood in attention in 70 days now it stands in standard is in 48 days unable to bear the weight the recent trend is they would like to bring this poultry in 35 days in that stage i am not exaggerating please try to communicate i have come here because i could share these experiences with you here the problem is all those elderly people you go back home take your group photograph when you pass school take your own sons or relatives picture when they pass school we use the razor after going to college now they use razor in 10th standard i hope you are able to understand lots of hormones are being circulated into the food industry fish please be very clear again fish these are our traditional fishes fresh order right in teeno mein aap dhyan se dekhiye very carefully katla the mouth is facing up रोहू द माउथ इज द मिडल मिर्गल द माउथ इज फेसिंग डाउन समझ में आ गया आपको एक का मुंह ऊपर है एक का मुंह बीच में है एक का मुंह नीचे देख रहा है इन केस इन यूर ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग यूनिट और पर्मा कल्चर डिजाइन यू ऑल्सो हैव अ पॉन्ड तो ये तीनों को आप इसलिए इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं ताकि इनका नीच ऐसा होता है कटला ऊपर से खाती है रोहू बीच में से खाती है और मिर्गल नीचे से खाती है झगड़ते नहीं और तीनों फिश ग्रो होते 
दिस इज कॉल्ड एस नीश स्पेशलाइजेशन तो आप अगर पौधे भी उगाते हैं तो आप नीश स्पेशलाइजेशन पे थोड़ा सा ध्यान रखिए हैबिटेट विल बी द सेम नीश इज डिफरेंट इट्स समथिंग लाइक यू गो टू अ मैरिज सेरेमनी हैबिटेट इज द वेडिंग हॉल वेडिंग के बाद दो ग्रुप मुड़ जाते हैं एक वेजिटेरियन डिनर एक नॉन वेजिटेरियन डिनर तो दे आर टू डिफरेंट नीश विद इन द सेम हैबिटेट इज अ क्लियर ये हमारे समुद्री मच्छी है इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल दिस टुडे वी आर इंपोर्टिंग दिस फिश फ्रॉम इंडोनेशिया एंड थाईलैंड प्लीज बी वेरी केयरफुल This basa, basa fish. It is a catfish, heavily cultured. This fish, they catch it, they remove the skin, they remove the bones. It is slightly brownish in color. They use chemicals and make it white. And then it comes into India as a as an ice cube. This fish is sold in the market for three hundred rupees a kg, whereas the Indian fish is sold for six hundred to thousand rupees a kg. So many of the restaurants you go, you will be served in this way. beautiful fish with bread coatings on the top and it's so soft and sweet and you enjoy it spoiling your own health so next time you go order for a full fish or a slice of fish which has a bone in it that's all that's all there's the only change you got to bring in these are all getting threatened because of our activities so many species are getting threatened several species are getting threatened trees and soil these are the values of the tree 21st march declared as the international day of forest the moment you say international day of forest immediately one group jumps up and says miawa ki forest it is good for a small institution for a small institution mein choti si jagah hai wo log kuch bhi kar lene do miawa ki cannot replenish a forest to wahi pe jo hai government department i was also sitting in one of the meetings to wahan pe jo hai green cover 35% chahiye the moment we say green cover 35% people say miawa ki dal denge warna easiest yani metro satellite se hi dekhte hai na aajkal green cover तो जो इमीडिएट ग्रीन कवर देता है दट इज कैशोरिना एंटिक तो इसको उगा दो इसको उगा दो जैसा भाई साहब ने कहा मिट्टी को उससे नशा मिलता है इनफैक्ट इट इज नॉट द ट्री विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज लिटर विच गोज फॉर द इनकॉपरेशन टू दॉइल विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड एज ही सेट एवरी प्लांट वेन इट ग्रोस डाउन इन टू द रूट द रूट एक्सुडेट्स जैसा हमें हारमोन्स बोलते हैं टिपिकल कॉमन वर्ड्स एक्सोक्राइन हारमोन्स these exocrine hormones attract a lot of microorganisms the whole rhizosphere gets changed based on the type of tree you are growing so next time when you think about tree growing it is not just the green cover please remember that not just the green cover kyunki ye jo casuarina hai aur teak hai uske jo leaves niche girte hain ye jaldi kuch nahi hota hai because that has only silica is that clear to you all right to isi samay jo hai na hamare yahan कोयम्बतूर से लाया है ये लड़का आया है तमिलनाडु में एक कहावत है यानी मतलब गणेश जी है ना गणेश जी को तो जानते होंगे गणेश जी के एक भाई हैं उसको कार्तिक कहते हैं सुब्रमण्यम कहते हैं हमारे यहाँ मुर्गन कहते हैं उनके यहाँ एक बुढ़िया गई थी वो पोएट है क्या नाम है उसका अवैयार कहते हैं ये अवैयार ने वहाँ गए तो मुर्गन जी यानी कार्तिक जी ने उनसे पूछा कि तुम सुट्ट परम खाएंगे या सुडाद परम खाएंगे यानी मतलब गर्म फल खाएंगे या बिना गरम किए वो फल खाएंगे मतलब क्या हुआ नहीं उनका ये था कि उसको उठा के अगर मिट्टी लग गई है फल पे तो क्या उसको फूक के खाएंगे ये फूके बिना खाएंगे वो कौन सा फल था जामुन था ये कहानी चल रही थी तो मैंने बहुत बड़ा एक आर्टिकल लिखा था टैमल में इसके बारे में और मेरे जो स्टूडेंट्स का रिसर्च चला था इस पे जहां जामुन के पेड़ है उसके जो पत्ते नीचे गिर के गलते हैं और सड़ते हैं वहां पे माइक्रोबेल डेंसिटी एंड अर्थोम डेंसिटी इज मैक्सिमम हम कहानी याद रख लिए लेकिन क्यों इसका कोई तलवा नहीं रखे और इसी तरीके से मैं फुटचेन पढ़ाता हूं बच्चों को यानी फुटचेन सुना है ना आपने स्टूडेंट्स यस फुटचेन उसको जैसे ही पूछो इन बच्चों को खड़ा दो और क्वेश्चन पूछो मैं व्हाट इज फुटचेन डिफाइन पूछूंगा नहीं डरो मत <laughs> तो ये लोग तुरंत शुरू कर देंगे द ट्रांसफर ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम सोर्स ऑफ सोलर सन टू ए सीरीज ऑफ प्लांट्स टू ए सीरीज ऑफ ईटिंग एंड रिपीटिंग इज कॉल्ड एज ए फुटचेन खत्म लेकिन जी आजकल इम्तिहान आता है तो किसकी पूजा होती है गणेश जी की सरस्वती को भूल गए यार सरस्वती फॉर नॉलेज एग्जाम गणेश जी जो है एग्जाम पास कराते हैं अब गणेश जी की पूजा होती है गणेश जी के पिताजी कौन थे हाँ उनके गले में क्या है शाम है और गणेश जी का वेहीकल क्या है चूहा है कार्तिक उनके भाई कार्तिक कार्तिक जी का वाहन क्या है पीकाक है तो आप जब पूजा करते हैं रोज रोज घर पे चूहे को शाम खाना चाहिए शाम को मोर खाना चाहिए फुट चेन रेली पूजा करते हैं और इसको पढ़ाने के लिए एक अंग्रेज आता है आपको पास एक फुट चेन पढ़ाने के लिए समझ गए ना सो एज लॉन्ग एज दी इनका वी टॉक नॉन सेंस फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट वी डोंट वॉन्ट दट नॉन सेंस अंडरस्टैंड इट इज है इसी तरीके से डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्लांट्स 
प्लांट्स में जिसमें फ्रूट्स आते हैं जैसे कि भाई साहब ने कहा फ्रूट्स आते हैं तो हमें एडेड एडवांटेज होता है बर्ड्स कम ओवर देयर बर्ड्स डोंट जस्ट ईट दे आल्सो ड्रॉप देयर वेस्ट एंड दैट इंक्रीजेस माइक्रोबियल डेंसिटी ऑफ द सॉइल अगर पेड़ काटते हैं बारिश आती है तो सारी मिट्टी जाती है और दिस इज कॉल्ड एज टॉप सॉइल एंड टॉप सॉइल गोज अवे इनटू द रिवर्स प्लीज रिमेंबर नेचर टेक्स 250 टू 400 इयर्स टू डेवलप 1 इंच ऑफ टॉप सॉइल 1 इंच ऑफ टॉप सॉइल तो यहीं से एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री का शुरू होता है और अक्सर लोग कहते हैं कि हनी बी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो हनी बी नो पॉलिनेशन बट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर देयर आर आल्सो अदर फ्रेंड्स व्हिच डू द जॉब डोंट गिव इंपॉर्टेंस टू जस्ट वन ऑर्गेनिज्म देयर आर मल्टीपल ऑर्गेनिज्म्स व्हिच डू द जॉब काइंडली सी टू इट वी डू इट मिट्टी की कहानी शुरू होती है मिट्टी की कहानी सॉइल इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन यू थिंक सॉइल इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन यू थिंक एंड व्हाट इज सॉइल व्हाट इज सॉइल सॉइल इज फूड नो मिट्टी no soil no food so now shall we no soil to no food right soil ko thank you soil ki koi umar hoti hai kya age hoti hai nahi hoti hai very good darana se hi galat answer aata hai <laughs> soil ki koi age nahi hoti hai <laughs> rocks have an age soil daily form hota rehta hai yani matlab soil daily jab form hota hai wo process ko weathering process kehte hain ये वेदरिंग प्रोसेस हवा हो सकती है बारिश हो सकती है लॉट्स ऑफ फैक्टर्स कम टुगेदर टू ऑपरेट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज अ वेदरिंग प्रोसेस इसके तुलना में अगर मैं कुछ समझाऊं आपको ये पुराना जो रहता था आपको याद है मोटर द पेजल मोटर रॉक हुआ पेजल वेदरिंग प्रोसेस हुआ जैसे इसमें से गोल फिर फिर के रोज बनती है आटा निकलता है इसी तरीके से रोज रोज वेदरिंग प्रोसेस से थोड़ी थोड़ी मिट्टी बनती जाती है मिट्टी इज इटर्नल मिट्टी इज इटर्नल जैसे बीज का कहा इन्होंने सॉइल इज इटर्नल तो ये सॉइल जब बनता है तो 2015 में अंग्रेज को याद आया कि इसको डिक्लेयर करना है इंटरनेशनल ऑफ द सॉइल्स तो वहीं पे हमारा काम मेरा काम जो है मिट्टी के साथ 78, 79 में शुरू हुआ जैसा मैंने कहा है क्योंकि मैं टीचर टोल मी दैट आई हैव सॉइल इन माय हेड आई बिकेम सॉइल बायोलॉजिस्ट स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन सॉइल्स तो आई स्टार्टेड डिस्क्राइबिंग सॉइल एज ए लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म तो बिकॉज एनी टेक्सट बुक ये जो बच्चे पढ़ते हैं स्कूल वगैरह में तो उसमें जो है लिविंग नॉन लिविंग आता है उसमें सॉइल इज डिक्लेयर एज ए मिनरल मैटर तो उसको अगर मैं लिविंग कहूं तो मुझे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन शुरू हुए लोगों ने पूछा कि तुम लिविंग कहते हो क्या उसको डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम है अरे भाई तुम जा रहे हैं रोड पे एक एनिमल फॉर एग्जांपल डॉग इज लाइंग डेड ओवर दर मरा पड़ा हुआ है तो वन डे टू डेज थ्री डेज इंस्टिंग्स बदबू आती है नहीं आती है ठीक है अगर एक गड्ढा बनाए और उसमें उसको डाल दे और क्लोज कर दे डू यू गेट एनी स्मेल आई डोंट गेट स्मेल सो वॉट हैपनिंग इन साइड डी कम्पोज हु इज डूइंग इट सर यस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड but who is doing that job in your intestine so if you call it as my intestine and digestive system logically i can say soil has a digestive system theek hai so it has a digestive system phir unhone kaha ke soil respiratory system hai jaise we take in oxygen give out carbon dioxide oxygen goes into the soil carbon dioxide comes out from the soil soil has this then they ask me whether it has a circulatory system right circulatory system right i will ask one of the students hey you can understand english na no? theek now you are walking on the road You 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 suddenly get hurt on your toe. Ek tha. You did not notice. Doctor gave you a tablet. Will you put the tablet in your mouth or you will put, uh, put it on your thumb? Mouth. How does the medicine go to the thumb? By after digestion, who takes the medicine? Circulatory system takes the medicine. Circulatory system takes the medicine. You have plants at home. Do you pull up the plant every day and feed the root? You just put it on the top. How does it go to the root? They are the channels created by soil organisms, microorganisms, microarthropods, earthworms. so these channels form a circulatory system of the soil then they ask me whether it has an excretory system when we have a break even he was telling me if you want to go to pee pee anywhere you want we have to throw it out because we have urea which is being generated so if there is ex- urea is a salt of nitrogen so if i have to throw away the salt i go out and throw it out any saline soil or sodic soil do you find salt come going inside or coming out and thrown out thrown out so soil logically has excretory system then they ask me whether soil has a reproductive system we know about in vitro fertilization test tube baby right now whatever it is well, what you do in the test tube in the laboratory where should you keep the zygote the fertilized egg for it to grow in the womb the uterus of the mother you are all your tissue culture plants where should you keep them to grow so soil has a reproductive system final question they ask me soil does it have a brain that was the top soil does it have a brain my experience is yes, soil has a brain you dig a pit put any biomass cow dung what will happen kya hoga decompose put a seed it will germinate soil knows what it has to decompose what it has to germinate right 
सो इस सॉइल को मुझे कैसे बचाना है दिस इज वॉट इज द बेसिस इस सॉइल को अगर मैं बचाना है बिकॉज आई हैव टू टेक शेक हैंड्स विद द सॉइल आई विल हैव टू टेक द सॉइल फर्दर बिकॉज प्लांट्स दे नो हाउ टू बिहेव प्लांट्स जैसे इन्होंने कहा सीड्स विल एटर्नल वो अंदर से अपने आप को हैंड शेक कर लेते हैं हम लोग बाहर से भी नहीं करते दिज आर ऑल द सॉइल ऑर्गेनिजम्स यू कैन हैव लुक एट इट दिज आर ऑल द सॉइल ऑर्गेनिजम्स सर मुझे क्या पता मैं तो जुआलॉजी नहीं पढ़ा फिर भी इसमें कुछ है क्या कैसे पहचानो ऑल दिज आर कॉल्ड एज माइक्रो ऑर्थम्पोर्ट्स हाउ डू आई नो हाउ टू डू इट वेरी सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट चिल्ड्रन यू कैन स्टार्ट डूइंग इट इन योर ओन होम्स कॉलेज में दे डोंट गिव एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट आई नो दैट वॉट इज है इन मेनी प्राइवेट कॉलेज I am the education policy itself. I know what's happening over there. These two are very important: earthworms and termites. Termites also do a wonderful job. We don't like termites because they eat away our doors and windows. Otherwise, in a forest ecosystem, they do a wonderful job. Earthworms do a wonderful job. If you want to know how good your soil is, one simple experiment, ma. Simple experiment. Take any of the leaf if you want. Cut them into circles. Take three types of bags. one with large mesh medium size mesh fine mesh put ten ten discs into it bury it wherever you want just slightly beneath the soil take it after one month or one or months or two months take them out you will know how much is decomposed you will know how your soil is bigger mesh even earthworms can to go inside medium mesh mi- micro arthropods and microbes can go fine mesh one day microorganisms will do so you will know how many microorganisms there how many micro arthropods are there how many earthworms are there your experiment is over please don't go and stand in front of the agriculture department anybody from there don't mistake me i am associated with them also soil the moment you take soil should have air inside it mitti ke andar hawa chahiye apart from water and mineral matters that you do it is a simple experiments i will give you the uh, website later you can just access it the problem is the npk ratio is aata hai where a soil organic matter kam hota ja raha hai yahi we have to have organic matter 2 to 5% as far as our thing is concerned i happened to meet mr rao just now he said his soil he has improved to 5% very good mitti ki khushboo suna hai nahi mitti ki khushboo hoti hai nahi hoti hai bilkul nahi hoti hai mitti ki koi khushboo nahi hoti hai you take soil dry it in the sun smell it absolute no smell when it rains it gets smell i am going to send you back to school teacher told you so honestly that water is colorless tasteless odorless पानी की कोई खुशबू नहीं होती है मिट्टी की कोई खुशबू नहीं होती है इट्स द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एक्टिनोमाइसिस विल ब्रिंग दैट स्मेल कॉल्ड एज अ पेट्रोचो सो दैट स्मेल कम्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म्स राइट सो दिस ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इज रिक्वायर्ड अनफॉर्चूनेटली नेशनल एवरेज वाज 5.5 नाउ इट्स गोइंग डाउन टू 0.3% वी हैव टू इंप्रूव वी हैव टू इंप्रूव ऑल दिस इज हैपनिंग लैंड डिग्रेडेशन सोइल इज बीइंग लॉस्ट बाय सलाइनिटी बाय सोडिसिटी ऑल दिस प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर एग्जांपल उत्तर प्रदेश में सोडिक सोइल बहुत है बहुत है Sodic soil is there, plenty of sodic soil. How can you handle it? We were invited. This is the type of soil, and that's the profile. That's the profile. Simple by using organic inputs, local earthworms. We treated, created dry drillospheres which had neutral pH. Where we developed these are the drillospheres. Drillosphere children, especially from college, please understand. You know, like um, for a concrete concrete floor, concrete wall. If you want to put a nail, what will you do? You drill it. the same way earthworms drill into the soil the space around that is called as drillosphere nothing else so they create a lot of microbial density and that soil we were able to convert into this soil in four and a half years it is possible it is possible so please don't worry if you have what is called according to others bad soil there is no soil which is bad every soil has a potential every soil is good so now recently i am also writing the land use policy for our government along with other members so there we have classified removed the term wasteland there is no waste land created by nature no waste land. unused land if i don't know how to use it don't call it as waste right so how can we convert it into something productive something productive in the moment we tell about soil aapke dimag mein aa jayega kitab mein yahi diya hai ko samajh mein aaya mujhe bhi nahi aaya so next time when you see the soil just do a simple test Take the soil in your palm, hand me le lije. Thoda sa pani dal dije. Water. Make it as a dough, aate ki tarah. Take it between your thumb and your finger. Make it a small wick. Wick. Dha ye banate hain, jaise chirag ki rakte hain. Wick. W A C K. Wo agar apse ban nahi pati hai, you are not able to make it. That means your soil is too sandy. You are able to make it. It is growing. One and a half inch, two inch, two and a quarter inch. Soil is clay. 
you are making it comes over on one inch one and a half inch breaks again make it one one and a half inch breaks excellent loamy soil very good soil for gardens bas itna hi you don't need to ask anybody you don't need to do any specific test for it auric test hai bahut acha test jisko forward karenge aap ek bottle le lijiye kanch ka bottle ya glass usme aapki mitti dal dijiye equal quantity water dal dijiye shake it well and leave it as such for about 3 uh, uh, to 4 hours it will get segregated you will know how much of sand is there how much of silt is there how much of clay is there and how much of organic matter is there over in fact i wrote an article and a book in tamil where i wrote the last chapter saying that every farmer is a scientist don't try to copy what somebody else is doing it will not work out it will not work out we are just sharing experiences which need not work in your farm you will have to adapt modify as per your requirements please remember that very well please remember that very well this is the simplest test i teach my farmers take a cow on a walk let it put the dung over there leave the dung for 2 3 days you don't take it from there if the dung dries up as a cake that means the soil is devoid of microorganisms and moisture if the dung crumbles into small pellets that means your soil is very rich with microorganisms moisture earthworms and microorganisms do you need a test for it that's it that's it simplify things please simplify things unfortunately today you take students for a tour they also take pictures of the cotton they haven't seen it in their lifetime one spoon of soil has several 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 pictures of microorganisms and it is a source of life we are killing it and since this fellow came in we started saying we don't want animals but a tractor doesn't give dung right so when i plow the soil the soil comes out that means air goes inside when i use heavy machinery very heavy machinery compaction starts when compaction starts soil air escapes when soil air escapes soil organisms perish is it uh, clear fine this you can even try as an experiment take soil in one you put it loose grow a plant same seed you put it in another one which is slightly compressed another one fully compressed they will not grow well because compaction does not permit roots to infiltrate so soil space soil porosity is very important people talk about soil fertility it became a very bad nomenclature now i think some of you would have given your soil for testing diye hinga mitti diye hai na koi baat nahi if you are given they will analyze the soil they will give you npk they will give you ph electroconductivity some micronutrients they don't stop with it then they put recommendation and they say add so much of dap so much of urea and so much of potash so soil fertility got related with fertilizers so we in our circle we don't use the term soil fertility we use the term soil health it's a holistic mitigate could both soil organisms earthworms everything put together if a mom is pregnant and if you want the baby to grow very well would you inject medicines to the baby or will you take care of the mom take care of the mom the same thing when the plants which are producing seeds cereals and fruits if there is no enough nutrient content in it would you take care of the plants after harvesting the crops or would you take care of the soil unfortunately our union government has shifted to fortified food with nutrient depleted soils rice today in the country is taken to a machinery where rice is powdered and to the powdered rice is added iron b6 and b12 reformed into the shape of rice grains 1 kg of the, this rice is mixed with uh, 99 kg of ordinary rice and is being brought back to pds systems to feed children this is called as fortified rice it's time that people like us are able to again bring back and revive the soils with its nutrient content mitti ki sehat is more important if you want human health is related with soil health human health is not related with medicines as bhai sahab was just telling us bhai pe a word aaya vermitech vermi is earthworms tech is technology if you look at worms these are the native worms and if you talk about worms broadly when classify them into three types the first one we call it as epi jake epi jake jake g e i c is derived from the term geo g e o geo geography geology related to earth earth right epi means above so those which live on the surface of the soil the second group are the anasics anasic means intermediate they keep moving up and down they create drills in the soil they create channels they create aeration they create take nutrients the third endogeic inside endo means inside so inside the soil broadly classified there are some in between in betweens let us ignore them ab isme se usually epigeics are the one which help in making compost manure and good food for the soil native worms these are the native worms very common in south india perionics excavatus perionics sansibaricus or epigeic lampito is anasic 
octoketona group is uh, mostly endogenic. This, I deliberately wanted to show you this. Every soil has its own type of species. Those who have red soil, red soil, red soil, which is slightly acidic, they will have this worm. This is called as octoketona serrata. If you can look carefully, I have pointed out the calciferous glands. The moment this soil with acid goes into the mouth and goes here, the calciferous glands, they secrete calcium carbonate. Just like people with acidity pop in an anti, uh, antacid tablet. So it just pours it and neutralizes. And then the food goes inside. And when the casting comes out, it neutralizes that micro area, micro habitat, and plants start growing. That is natural. This is called as calciferous glands, right? These are the uh, tunnels created by earthworms for aeration. You can see the difference. Where there are organisms with soil, uh, soil organisms, activity will be very high. This is how an earthworm works. Food goes into the digestive system. After digestion goes to the elementary canal. Every segment has nephridia, kidney-like structures. They pour nitrogen, urea. So urea and carbon combine, and that which comes out is called as casting, verbi castings. Earthworms, this is the life cycle of them. Normally, Indian earthworms live for a period of one year. That's life, one year life. They mate with each other. Even though they are hermaphrodites, every earthworm has both male and female. If anybody is selling you earthworms and tells, buy 500 male and 500 female, he's cheating you. Every earthworm has both male and female, but they don't self-fertilize. They require a partner. So this is how they mate, lying opposite to each other. They produce cocoons, and from the cocoons, the young one comes out like this. This is how a young earthworm is born. This is how a young earthworm comes out, right? This is our local worm, Perionix excavatus. Excellent worm, can produce good compost. Unfortunately, we, we don't like Indian products. We buy imported products. So these are the foreign worms, Icinia fetida. In North India, it's being used. There's one group of people who tell that earthworms produce heavy metals, which is a wrong thing completely. Earthworms cannot synthesize and produce heavy metals. Earthworms excrete what they eat. This data which that gentleman is trying to talk about is the research work done by Professor Hartenstein and Professor Neuhauser, with whom I was to collaborate in the US. But uh, they work on the, what you call it as a tripping filter system of uh, industrial wastewater. So when they consume industrial wastewater, which has heavy metals, the excretion contains heavy metals. Do you know that we contain cyanide in us? Do you know that we contain gold in us? Are sare population market ke gold nikalenge? If at all earthworms are producing heavy metals, then we can have a factory rending heavy metal factory, right? So these are the African earthworms, which are also being used. But the best is you can apply vermicompost, but if you really want good soil, you must have native earthworms. You must have native earthworms because these earthworms don't eat soil. Ye so, sir, government jo, uh, propagate kar rahe, oh, yeah, yeah. Vermi compost. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay? It's okay. As long as you use only the compost. Isko, uh, mm -hmm. ek upli rakh do. Those who did not watch it. You have all uh, cow dung which has lost its heat completely. In that you introduce the worms. Keep a cow dung cake on the top. Cow dung dried cake? Dried cow dung. They'll start multiplying. And who makes cow dung cakes? Smart players. But who sells cow dung cakes? That's rupee ko leke, 140 rupee pe bech raha hai. That's why we compose. Now, please remember, green leaves have more nitrogen, dry leaves have more carbon. And when you mix up things, see to it that the maximum should be 30 times of uh, dry leaves to one part of green leaves. This is very important. Nitrogen is very important for composting purposes. Unfortunately, the term vermitech was coined by me for the world. These are the carbon-rich materials. These are the nitrogen-rich materials. Anything can be used. That's the reason why even nature, when it drops, it drops green and dry combined. It knows how to operate. We just put some coarse sticks at the base. Simplest unit I'm teaching you. Coarse sticks on the base for a height of about 6 inches to 10 inches. And on top of it, you can put some coconut frond or palm frond or jute uh, or bag or whatever it is. Top of it, put your vegetables waste. Whatever green leaves, fodder, anything you have. In case you don't have cows with you. Many people have created a wrong fancy saying that you must have to produce uh, compost. Not necessary. If you have, very good. You get very good menu. If you don't have, don't, don't lose your head on it. Only thing is remember that cooking a brinjal by cutting it into pieces is faster than putting the whole brinjal. So if you have big leaves, shred them, it increases the surface area, composting is faster.
put it for about 10 inches or so. And then add microbial inoculum. And microbial inoculum, please don't buy from anywhere. The best source of microbial inoculum is cow dung. Take cow dung, dilute it in water. Not like sambar, but like rasam. Because microbes multiply when it is more dilute. Sprinkle on it. Create a height of about 4 to 5 feet. Loosely cover it with the polythene if you have it. Otherwise, it's not necessary. Because generally we have, it's temperature very hot, so I cover it up. The water inside keeps evaporating because of the heat generated inside. You all know that when you put any organic matter and leave it, it generates a lot of heat. So water will evaporate. But if I have a cover on the top, water accumulates beneath the cover. And in the night when it gets cool, the same water infiltrates inside. So water keeps cycling. When water keeps cycling, microbes go along with the water. So they work with the water. And uh, in about 10 to 15 days, the temperature goes to around uh, 58 to 62 degrees Celsius. Don't use a thermometer to check it. If you want to use a thermometer, it should be a, a metal thermometer, not a mercury thermometer. Because if it breaks inside, you will be contaminating the whole soil. The uh, composting starts with mesophilic bacteria, which can tolerate average temperature. The next step goes to thermophilic bacteria, which love the temperature. Then it comes back to mesophilic. And about uh, 15 days, it starts coming down. You turn it over once. When you turn it over, because this heat will destroy unwanted microorganisms, unwanted uh, microarthropods, and unwanted seeds. So after 15 days, we do a turnover when steam comes out, and then leave it again. Another, another 25, 30 days, the whole thing comes on. Do a coarse sieve. You can directly use it also as such on your soil, or use a coarse sieve, transfer it to a vermicompost pit, leave the earthworms there, they enjoy the meal, and then you sieve it further, and that's where we compost for you. That's it. It's a very simple procedure. Don't get confused between these two. Nematodes are roundworms. Earthworms have segments. Nematodes can be harmful. Not important if you want to use it yourself. If you want to market it, people like it. That way. Be careful about this fellow. Bipalium uh, quinsis. This has a triangular head. You will see it in your farm. It moves that way. This fellow enjoys eating earthworms. Be careful about it. If you see that, just sprinkle a little bit of salt on it and takes care of it. But otherwise, they kill earthworms. Whatever composting you do, this fellow will come. Yeah. If, if you are getting this fellow, grow poultry along with it. Just pick them up and give it to them. They enjoy it as biryani. Your job is taken care of. Right? Otherwise, it will become a rhinoceros beetle, which can attack coconut trees. These are the simplest things which we started long back. I am using old pictures because Ranjit was a good friend of mine. He is no more. In Sri Lanka, just put sticks around. You have a compost pit. Just keep adding material, keep adding cow dung. That's all. That's all. Don't exert yourself. Decentralize. Now, instead of that, you can use this green jali jwati, na? plastic coated. Usko ek circle lag do. Niche se thoda sa gap rag do. Four inches. Keep on adding. Keep on adding cow dung. Keeps on composting. Niche se nikal de jo. Bas. Right? Simple. Or we do this for uh, rural areas, which you can try in your own farms. We make a, a measure a three feet dia and make a circle. Center me two, two feet to two and a half feet, maximum one and a half feet. The soil which we take, we put it on the sides. In this, in the center, we add uh, cow dung, little water, microorganisms multiply, and we teach rural households, children for you people as a project, I'm telling this especially. When you go and tell somebody, recycle your waste, they look at us and say, go mind your business. But when we tell them, create nutrition garden for your house, yes, you are it. They can, what is the resource material? Aapka garbage, right? So put all that organic matter inside. In about 15 to 20 days, it starts decomposing. Keep on adding your organic material over there. And then we start growing vegetables on the sides. It's a very simple procedure, which we are doing it for the government of Tamil Nadu's uh, rural development completely. Be careful with these idiots. They will come to your farm and say that they can prepare compost in 24 hours. If they come to you, just ask them one question on my behalf, whether he was born in... 10 months or in 10 minutes. Compost cannot be prepared in 24 hours. It is only a volume reduction machine. A simple question to you. You have a lot of fish with you. You have caught the fish and it died. You want to preserve it for three days. You don't have a refrigerator. You don't have a, uh, ice. What will you do? Salt. Salt. So if you put salt, it will not uh, rot. Why will it not rot? Uh, so it kills all the microorganisms. It, it removes all the moisture, both. Both, right? So what the fish becomes? Karwad, dry fish. The same thing we have been doing it to the soils. Nitrate is the salt of nitrogen, phosphate is the salt of phosphorus, potassium is the salt of potassium. Keep on adding salt. What is happening to the soil? Karwad, right? The second thing, you take too much salt, what do you want immediately? So soil management cannot be separated from water management. 
and water management cannot be separate from soil management. The more salt you add, the soil demands more water. These are simple things for your farm. I'm walking in the rain. I hold an umbrella. Does the rainwater fall on my head or around me? Around me. I don't have an umbrella. I go and stand under a well-grown tree, under the shade of the tree. A few drops may fall on my head, but most of the water will fall around the tree. Around the tree, right? Why should water fall around the tree? Water falls around the tree because the roots that drink are over there. So where should I water the tree? Near the canopy. Where should I give the nutrients? Near the canopy. One foot under the canopy. But what do I do? I don't bother about this. I feed near the trunk and say nothing grows, including the agriculture universities. Are you able to understand, ma? Please. There's a reason for farmers we teach this sort of trenches where they can just put it, add it up. Mulch, sir has already spoken, I will not go into the details. But mulch is very important for microorganisms to multiply. Unfortunately, we are moving towards plastic mulch when we have so much of organic matter. Plastic mulch does not just protect water. Organic mulch provides habitat for multiplication of microorganisms. That's very important for us. These are the earthworm burrows, the circulatory system of the soil, based on which we created vermiwash. I started this in 1995. Oh, you can create any design you want. I'm not going to the details. You can make panchagavya. Very simple. This is the procedure for panchagavya. EM is being sold in the market because uh, we as uh, initial people who started work on organic farming in uh, Auroville in those days, Bernard Namalwar, myself, Vandana and all those people, we, our aim was to pull a farmer from a chemical industry and make him independent. Unfortunately, today's motive speakers are pull him from a chemical market and push him towards an organic market. That's not the thing. The farmer should be independent. So EM was expensive. We taught them how to make EM and we call it as farmer's EM. Any fruit which is overripe, put it, add jaggery equal quantity, water, close it in a plastic bottle, keep shaking every day, fermentation takes place. After 30, 35 days, it gets smells of alcohol. You have a beautiful fermented tonic, dilute it, spray it. 30 to 40 days. Same thing is fish amino with fish waste. Excellent tonic. Those who take fish, please, you eat the fish, the remaining parts. The trash fish can be used. These are coconut buttermilk can be used. This uh, spoils, the, uh, prevents the flowers to fall before fruiting. Uh, Bioenzymes have come in. The best I teach for uh, home gardens. Yeah, you eat banana, you put the peel in a bottle, close it, put water, leave it for three, four days, filter, uh, use that water. Excellent potassium. Your hibiscus oil will glow beautifully. Well. So don't go out of it. It is eggshells. Plenty of eggshells, just crush them slightly. They have an inner membrane which will stink otherwise. So slightly roast it. Ordinary kadai rakke, usme thoda sa halka sa roast kar de. The inner membrane dries up, but uh, the shells will become slightly yellow or slight light brown. Put in a bottle, add vinegar. If there's one inch of shell, add vinegar in such a way there's one inch above it. Vinegar, ordinary way. Don't ask me apple cider vinegar, organic vinegar and all. Because vinegar has acetic acid in it. Eggshell has carbonate in it. Immediately start bubbling. Within a day, all the elements in the eggshell are there in the liquid. Take it, dilute it, spray it. I am not telling you a dilute percentage because it is your responsibility to identify it. Jivamurth, I am not against any technology. If you find it useful, you can use it. He is uh, Dr. Nadrajan who worked on Panjakavya. I worked on Verbi Wash. One simple experiment, I have removed most of the slides because the time was running out. Now, please understand, don't go and ask any scientist about the validity of the product you have developed. You use any rotting for fruit or overripe fruit with jaggery, prepare a liquid. Ban gaya. 35 days ho gaya, 40 days ho gaya. You don't know whether it's a good fertilizer or not. Take a 5% or 10% solution in a glass bottle or a glass tumbler. In another one, take water. Keep onions on the top. If the onion is small, put some toothpicks and keep it on the top. The roots will start growing. If the roots are growing longer and thicker, you have a new fertilizer for yourself and you can go ahead with it. Don't ask any scientist. It's the simplest way you can do it. Seeds is quick run. So many seeds are there in your own kitchen. You don't need to buy it. Our traditional seeds are called as high bloom seeds. Remember that? Even this, when I want to buy in a market, I can always say, Agar ek sitafal khara hum hai, I can always say how many seeds were there in that sitafal. But I can never predict how many sitafals will be produced from one seed. That is nature. That is nature, right? Even these seeds in the market are coming colored. Be careful. This color is because of a nasty chemical called as neonicotinoids. Neonicotinoids. It's a fifth generation neurotoxic substance which is coated on the top. What I'm worried is about my farmers who will be sowing that seed and without knowing they'll be also smoking a weed. 
So their fingers will be touching the lips and they passively transfer it inside the bodies. Alternative, this is giving me excellent results. Not just me, I've transferred it to Asian countries. Yeah, termite soil is very important. You can also do projects on termite soil. Be careful between this difference. Hybrids is different, GMO is different. Genetically modified is different. They wanted to bring golden rice, we fought against it. Then they wanted to bring BT cotton, we fought against it, but they said it is non-edible crop. Is it edible or non-edible? Non-edible. Edible. Edible. What do you eat? Oil, oil. You don't drink. In Madurai, they prepare cotton seed milk. In Nagapatnam, Nagur, Paritipal. Paritipal. In, in Nagur, Nagapatnam, they prepare halva out of it. Secondary product is preparing oil, cake, cotton seed cake, and that is fed to the cows and we drink the milk. Then, you know, like then they wanted to bring in brinjal. One brinjal for the whole country. When India produces 60 varieties now, and uh, Tamil Nadu produces nearly 22 varieties of brinjal at this point of time. One brinjal for the whole country. We fought against. Now they want to bring mustard. Please be aware. Funnily, these fellows mustard, they want to introduce us. DMH11. Dara mustard hybrid. Because we always tell farmers when they come, sir, I did not give, get native seeds. Can I try with hybrid? We say, okay, go ahead. Hybrid is okay because it is the same plant. Whereas GMO is entirely different. Where we use uh, bacillus thuringiensis. There are genes to do it. But the BT cotton has already sneaked in. It has sneaked in. It has sneaked in. It has sneaked in. Now people are trying to revert because it's not yielding results now. They spoil the market. All these are HT seeds. Glyphosate and glufosinate are used. So we, we fight against it. This is the first time in my country since independence a notification is issued by the ICAR, by the director. If anybody talks about this, action will be taken by the government. Can you imagine this? Right? Kab bobi? Azadi ke mahasopi. No azadi. No azadi. So what will happen between biodiversity and biotechnology? Biodiversity will create all the judo karate. And biotechnology will shoot it down. This is what will happen. Right? Be careful with all these things which are coming in. RBGH has come in the market. Recombinant bovine growth hormone. One injection of this, you can drain all the milk from the cattle. But the cow will develop mastitis of the udder in about three and a half to four years. Girl children in rural areas drinking this milk will attain puberty at the age of seven and eight. Seven and eight. Look at this. I've been talking about this, but people did not take it seriously. A cow has just given birth to a female calf. Just born female calf. Half a liter of milk is being given by the just born calf. Growth hormones. Please understand what's happening. So when you people have this enthusiasm of permaculture, which Narsana really wanted that we should all meet, this is the reason. We may be small in number, but we make a voice. All these things are happening with corporatization. These are all biopolitics, which is beyond comprehension. So who is the greatest scientist on the farm? To control pests, there is a wonderful professor. Please contact your professor in your area. And that is Professor Goat. Take Professor Goat for a walk. Professor Goat eats everything. Whatever plant a goat does not eat has plant repellent properties. That's all, pest repellent properties. So if your goat doesn't eat it, take that leaf, three or four varieties, crush it, put it in a bottle, add water, leave it for fermentation for about uh, 15 days, drain it, dilute, spray, broad spectrum pest repellent is ready with you. So next time, take Professor with you for a walk. That's why this leaf is called as Ada Toda. The name comes from Tamil, Ada Toda, the goat doesn't touch. So you can just prepare it, you can use it. This is what we're teaching to lots of farmers. So natural pest control agents multiply. All these garden lizards come, James Bond comes back. And they try to go for an integrated pest management, which is now called as ecological pest management. White grubs may come. For white grubs, this is working out very well. For root grubs. Inji Pundu Perangayam, Asafetida, Hing. It's working out very well. Complete Malaysia, everybody has started using. We call it as NCBT01 because I was heading the first biotechnology department of that college. Only request, let us call it as permaculture. Let some of them call it as biodynamic. Let some call it as sustainable. Let some call it as natural. Let some call it as organic. Let us all unite to work towards non-chemical, non-poisonous farming. You use whatever you want. You want to do permaculture, do a permaculture design. You want to use some compost, borrow it from there. You want some Amrut Pani, you borrow it from there. As long as you don't use chemicals, please be happy with it and try to bring in a new India. And let us move from crop-centric to farmer-centric approach. That's what we're giving it in the policy. So please become creative. Do you know what is creativity? This is what man does at the home. Madam doesn't like it. So she breaks it. So we should not cry. 
make it as a tabla that is creativity so in spite of so many pressures on us we will change it and uh, technology plays an important part in modern agriculture there's a keyboard over there my only request to all the technologists is technology should assist the farmer not replace the farmer it should not replace this is what has happened now alexa find help playing help by the beatles that's what is artificial intelligence i love this statement by one of our uh, tamil poets he said we are able to see elephants today but we are not able to see earthworms right so shall we reworm the world because today when it rains water does not drip into the soil when worms multiply and make channels rains waters will go into the soil people spoke about global warming i have worked with global warming yeah the greatest reward of my research is this term vermitech was coined by me for the world yeah this was coined by me for the world and uh, the greatest honor my state has given is children from my state read about me in the textbooks that's the greatest award which anybody can get so please participants update your knowledge update your knowledge because only knowledge will make you grow that's the reason we have all met over here at narsana's invitation and uh, that was the first organic meeting where uh, vandana's staff are seated in the front there is now uh, that's bernard who actually pioneered the organic farming movement uh, in in south india and that was i and we jointly conducted the meeting workshop in 83 84 when namalwar came as a participant and we all became friends so that's the origin these are the first days of transfer of information and knowledge and once vermi compost was clear i took a patent and released it for the people in 92 uh, that's vermi wash first time 95 people now talk about terrace gardens we started it in 19 99 started that so what if you have to do all this work what should you have yes today even if you walk quietly there is somebody to push you down so don't worry about them don't worry about them and uh, one small question when it rains and uh, rain water falls on the soil whom does this water belong to soil now if you take a pot and leave it over there from your home and collect water in the pot to whom does that water belong to now in the pot to you to you to you yeah yeah but i gave you that pot you don't have any other pot now whom does it belong to she doesn't have the heart to tell it belongs to me for an imaginary question my farmer his farm his field his labor corporates are trying to give you a few money and take everything from them things are changing we have to be aware we have to be aware i i don't want to use this platform on politics but please be very careful about it we used to call in tamil uh, malay 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 sar the idam we used to call it as kurunji this kurunji has moved from there to kuari and uh, forest regions we call it as mullai from mullai it has moved over to factories and uh, all the agriculture regions we call it as marudam and marudam today has become plots and all the coastal regions we call it as naidal they have become as waste discharge units and finally sandy regions were called as palai and palai has now become trucks and lorries taking away everything a drastic change has to come a drastic awareness has to come in the minds of all the youngsters who are working in this field please take it forward what is there heart where should your heart be just move an alphabet to the end and you are there right and to conclude ek sher mujhe bahut acha lagta hai hamesha bahut acha lagta hai mitti kehti hai mitti kehti hai koi ehsaan na karo mujhse to ehsaan hoga karna hi ho ehsaan to mujhe jeene do to mujhe jeene do jeene do and if you want to do all this just remember one word what is it without the last letter t manage human beings without the last letter n manage that's what i want you people to do is each one of us can start managing now we can manage others and that is management you don't require a mba degree to understand this right these are my new books which have been released recently that's our i view but who cares all the best good luck to you thank you thank you very much thank you, thank you. Hello, we are already overwhelmed. I mean, with the reality. But if I ever have to vote the coolest professor in the college or anywhere, it would be Sultan Ismail. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You.